¿Se oye bien suave? Good evening, teacher. Casi no se le escucha. Good evening, teacher. ¿Cómo me oye, no? Hola, hola. ¿Cómo me oye? Ya se oye mejor, teacher. Better, teacher. Better. Okay. Okay, how is the weather in your area? It is raining? ¿Cómo está el clima en su área? ¿Llueve? Sí está lloviendo, Tiki. Here it's raining, yes. Ok. It's raining, teacher. Okay, let us see. How we are going to start today. So. Okay, how many people? Yes, 10 people right now.
Okay, let me adjust my microphone. <clears throat> And I hope that all of you uh, got good connection in order that you can see and hear very well what we are going to study today. Okay, I got about 12. Let me show you my presentation.
Okay, this is class number 13. And our topic for today is uh, present continuous with WH word questions. <clears throat> and, but before that, uh, we are going to get this uh, vocabulary that maybe you are going to use it. You have it right there. You can uh, jot down it if you want. We talk about type of rain. Ahí tenemos diferentes tipos de lluvia. En lo que llegan los demás, eh, comparto ese vocabulario referente a diferentes formas de cómo llueve, ¿no? <coughs> Okay, take a look at the words that I have here. Dam, drizzly, shower, rain, dam, poor, and poor. I don't know if, if it is the first time that you see this vocabulary or you are ready now. Just tell me. <clears throat> Let me show you another one. Uh, right here, for example, right here you can understand better. If you say that this uh, drizzling is a very light rain, ¿cómo sería en español la primera? Hola, hola. Sería, está lloviznando, teacher. Okay, sí. O ¿Otro sinónimo? Eh, está pringando. Okay, perfecto. Los famosos chubascos. De ahí tenemos, it is raining, it's a normal rain, it is pouring, it's a heavy rain, it's lashing, heavy, intense rain. It's backing, backing down, very heavy rain, back the rain, and it is raining cat and dogs. Este es un idioma, este último, que está... ¿Cómo decimos nosotros acá? Ellos dicen eh, está lloviendo gatos y perros para decir que llueve muy, muy fuerte. ¿Y nosotros decimos? A cántaro. Ah, okay. Sap, sapos y culebras. <risa> ah, ok.
And the next one say it's wet outside. Another way to say that it's rain. Otra forma de decir que está lloviendo is wet outside. Uh, to get wet, to get soft, to become very wet, very wet. Pues mojarse. It was back in down this morning. I got so sucked on my way to work. Una forma idiomática de decir que estaba lloviendo muy fuerte y que se mojó cuando iba al trabajo. Ahí la tiene, ahí se la dejo para que haga un screenshot. Ese es un, un, un plus. Un extra, un extra. Okay, any questions? No? Hola, hola, hola. Hola. Not the chair. chair. Not the chair. Okay, no Not question. Right here you can see uh, this is another vocabulary that I would like to share with you. The weather, for example, rain, it is the same. Drizzling, shower, rain, downpour, flood. When you uh, talk about cold, hail, sleet, snow, snowflake, blizzard, and you can talk about cloud, cloudy, gloomy, foggy, overcast, clear. When you talk about wind, breeze, blustery, windy, gale, hurricane, temperature, hot, warm, cool, cold, freezing. And another vocabulary forecast, drought, lightning. Thunder, rainbow. Okay, I'm going to share it later on. Okay, we are going to start right here. This is uh, the first activity that we are going to develop with all of you. So um, we have two questions here. And I invite you to participate, giving me the answer to these two questions. The first one say, what events are taking place at your place these days? And the second one, where are these events taking place? And who is organizing them? Three different questions. Quien no comprende alguna pregunta de esta, por favor, me lo indica para poder ayudarle. Hola. Es decir, son tres preguntas. And I need that all of you give me an answer about these three questions, please. But if you don't uh, get some ideas about the question, you can ask me and I can give you a hand in order that you can understand better. And that way you are going to be able to give me an answer. Quien no comprenda las preguntas, por favor. Solo me lo indica para ayudarle y de esa manera pueda darme una respuesta más asertiva relacionada con cada una de ellas. Aló. Uh, Any problem? I no. teacher. Hello, sir. No, the answers. Uh, the answers. Okay, you you already got the answer. In my, my case, uh, the events that are taking in my work this this day, entiendo de que es eventos que se dieron en mi trabajo estos días, ¿verdad? Ojo, ojo con eso. Ayer vimos algo referente con el presente continuo. 
Ahora dice, what events are taking place at your workplace these days? ¿Cómo interpretaríamos eso? Es... Uh -huh. Sí, tienes la idea, yo sé que sí. Sí. Yo entiendo que ajá, lo, los eventos son en estos días, pero no. no. En su lugar de trabajo, ¿qué eventos? Uh -huh. ¿Sí? ¿Qué eventos habrán en su lugar de trabajo estos días? Uh, ok. Por ejemplo, you can say, ok, for the next week we, we have a meeting. We have a conference. Uh, we have a, a show about new product. Usted puede mencionar qué eventos son los que tiene ahí. Y luego enlazamos la siguiente pregunta que dice, where are these events taking place? ¿Dónde se van a realizar estos eventos? Uh, are they going to be in the same company or you are going to do it in a hotel, for example, I don't know, in a different area. And the last question say, who is organizing them? ¿Y quién los está organizando? Okay. Continue, Edwin. Yes, in my case, um, the next week, uh, I... I will, I will, um, a meeting, meeting uh, about, uh, talking about the leadership. Okay. And in, in the other event is in the parking of my branch. Uh, is a, a poda, como se dice poda? Referente a... a... Well, uh, uh, pruning of tree. Ah, okay. In the parking. Okay, I got it. Uh, the events in the first uh, will be um, in the branch, in the other, in the parking. Okay. The who organize, organizing this um, security? Department of Security. Okay. And Human Resource. Human Resources. Resources, yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. You already mentioned. Also, we can say pruning, trim, all depend. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to talk about this topic, so please raise your hand if you want to do it. Alguien más quiere participar, por favor, levanta su mano y nos indica y nos va dando las respuestas. Quiero verles, quiero verles. I want to see your faces. Hello. Don Jose Aleman is there. Jonathan, too. Roxana is there, Catherine is there, Elvin Alfredo is there too, uh, Janet uh, is there too. Okay, thank you all, to all of you that uh, got your cameras on. El resto no veo sus cámaras encendidas. Espero que estén ahí. Algunos por cuestiones de lluvia. I understand because in, in my area also it is raining. So sometimes if you are... Uh, not connected directly to your, the internet, you have problems, right? If you are using data, sometimes maybe you can use your camera at the same time, but sometimes it's difficult too. Okay, who wants to continue talking about this three question, please? I need that all of you participate. Bueno, ahí tengo varios oyentes que dicen que se van a integrar en la siguiente. Bueno. Ok. ¿Puedo, leer, ¿Puedo leerle la mía? Hola, Roxana, Roxana. Ahí me corrige. 
organize, en la pregunta número uno, organize them with the children. Eh, la siguiente, where are these events taking place? It will take place on the field of the colony. Eh, la siguiente, who is organized then? The teacher organized it. Okay. Organize it or organize the event. 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 Organize event. Okay. Okay, thank you. Somebody I want to say something. Let us continue, please. I need that all of you participate. Let us do it now. I already showed you the question, so try to answer it. Ya le mostré las preguntas. Necesito que me, que me participen respondiéndolas. Yeah. Okay, Catherine. Hold on a second. Let me mute the microphone. Vamos a mutear algunos micrófonos para que no tengamos feedback. Okay, Catherine, uh, Karina, perdón, Karina. Good night, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Um, the first question um, in my work, we are preparing them to celebrate family day. The second is we're in, in the neighborhood park. And the third question is, our administrative area, student and parents. Okay, administrative area, student and parents too. Okay, nice. Somebody else want to say something about it. Continue, please. Uh, America, welcome. Tell us. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, la primera es Hope Farris Interviews en Agromarket. Eso es lo que vamos a estar realizando. Hemos estado realizando estos días en nuestro lugar, ¿verdad? De trabajo. Okay. La segunda en San Juan Opico City Halls in Economic de Development Office. Okay. La tercera, my boss, my boss, Enrique Ortez. Él es el que organiza todo eso. Okay, he's the one, he's the one who, who organize all the activities. Organize. Okay, thank you. Okay, what about you, Paola, Sara, Gisela, Cecilia? Uh, let me see who else is there. Okay, come on, you can do it. Teacher, me podría hacer favor de poner un ratitito más la pregunta. Es que me faltó la última. Ajá. Okay, you got it there. Is there, is there. Teacher. Hello. We are buying new products okay. in the store of our suppliers. My boss is organizing the purchase. Okay. Okay, what else? What else? Tell me. Number one teacher. Okay. 
uh, sport games. Uh, number two, on the course of the Monaco Park. In the teacher organized. Organize, organize. The teacher organize. 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 Okay, thank you. Okay, so Maria. Teacher. Tell me. And and the and in my case and and only one activities and a planning conference the NA test in medicina legal. The organized activity is my supervisor teacher. Okay, your supervisor is the one who organized these activities. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, well, I can. Okay, somebody I want to share the information, please. As I told you at the beginning of the class, I need that all of you participate. So try to do it now, please. Como dije al inicio de la clase, quiero que todos participen, por favor. I know, I understand that we are in the match of the Okay. Okay, teacher, lo voy a intentar. Yes, it's good, you can do it. What, what events are happening in your workplace Thursday? Um, this day, the next event in the is the student day celebration. Where are these events held? Will take place on the school file. File or field? Excuse me? Es como la celebración del día del estudiante. Student day? Sería, ajá. Es student day. Ese es como la, el evento que se está organizando. Ok. Y luego la respuesta de la tercera. ¿Dónde se está organizando? Sería it's it is organized by our middle school teachers. ¿Quiénes lo están organizando? Sería todos los maestros de educación media. Ok. Ok. Uh, okay. It's a uh, high school. High, high school. school. High school. Uh, yeah, high school. Middle school is from, from seven to nine. Como teacher. Yeah, this is junior. All depends on the level. If you talk about, uh, si habla, por ejemplo, de educación media, eso sería uh, high school. No, no, sé, no sé si me entiende. No okay. sé si me entiende. Elementary school, elementary school, uh, start from uh, first grade to, to third, I guess. Va de primero a tercero, luego el otro que sería junior, sería uh, from seven, uh, from four to six. Ok. Entonces, para los más grandes, que son los bachilleros, sería high school. Ahí es high school level. Ok, thank you. Ok. De ahí es donde apareció high school music. Trataré de no olvidarlo, gracias a él. <laughs> ok. Ok, somebody else. ¿Quién más se me durmieron? Aló, aló. Bueno, vamos a pasar la lista. En este momento vamos a checar la lista. Teacher. Hello, sir. How do you say in English celebración de aniversario de la organización? Uh, could be uh, like a... Uh, let, let me see. 
it is a, a neighbor service ceremony related mm -hmm. with uh, it is related with uh, with uh, well, all the panel of uh, of the event, but it's like that. Mm -hmm. Como. For example, if you say a, a, a anniversary ceremony of marriage, anniversary de boda. So, es como solo va cambiando el, el como el evento, ¿no? Lo, es la forma más básica. Okay. Okay, let me start right here. Okay. Bueno, los que me hacían falta de actividades en la plataforma, eh, ¿será que sí ya las tienen? Okay, America, Elizabeth, say hello, America, if you are there. Hello, teacher present. Okay, welcome. Uh, Ana, it is. Project manager with clients together. Project manager with clients together. Project manager. Project manager with clients together. Project manager with clients together. Okay, later on we are going to talk about the project manager. Okay, let me continue. Uh Ana Iris. Say hello if you are here, please. No? Blanca Esperanza? Present teacher. Okay. Um, Cecilia? Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Uh, Edwin Alexis? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Edwin Alfredo? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Eh, Francisco. Oh, here. Gabriela. Sí, se le acabo de entrar. Eso veo, Gaby. Sí, acabo de entrar. Estoy ahorita lejos de mi casa. La lluvia, el tráfico. Para, para poder tener señal, sí. Ah, ok, be careful, be careful. Gisela. Present teacher. Okay, sir. Gisela. Uh, Ingrid. Ingrid. Present. Okay, sir. Uh, Ivanel Lisset. Jonathan. Present teacher. Don Jose Aleman. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Uh, Jose Luis. Present teacher. Okay. Karina Vanessa. Present teacher. Okay, step two. Uh, Catherine Manager with clients together. Present teacher. Project Project manager with clients together. Project manager with clients together. Project manager with clients together. Something is happening there. Algo está pasando. Catherine Paola. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Candy Natalie. Present teacher. Is that two? Uh, Mauricio Antonio. Mauricio, no. Roxana. Present teacher. 
Roxana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Sara. Present. Janet. Present teacher. Okay. Yesenia Lisset. Jesse. Jessica. Jessica Beatriz. Say hello, please, Jessica. Okay, it's not here. It's not here. Okay, let us continue then with the next activity that we need to do today. Let me check, share uh, something here with you. So let me try to do it uh, right here. Okay, the next activity that we are going to do is uh, listen this conversation and then you are going to practice with the pattern, right? Okay, the conversation is between Rita and Luis. Rita and Luis. Okay, pay attention about this, please. Say, Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confer some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where it is uh, is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, why, when are the material arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes. They are arriving on Friday morning. Okay. You can read it at your pause and later on you can ask questions. Okay, any question? No, teacher. What about the rest of the class? I don't have teacher. Okay, just in case. Just, right. just in case, I'm going to read again. Okay, I'm going to read again. Say, Luis. Good afternoon, this is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. Hold on a second, I need to mute something here. I'm going to start again. Luis, good afternoon, this is Rita, the new secretary. I just want, want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the new annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending 
and the conference is taking place in the Gray Room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes. They are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, you are going to practice with somebody else. So uh, before we go to the breakout room, and I need uh, all of you uh, produce the right sound of each word, please. So that is the reason why I ask you if you have any questions so far from here. Si alguien tiene alguna duda de cómo pronunciar alguna palabra, por favor me lo indica antes de irnos a la sala de, de, de donde vamos a hacer la práctica, por favor. Teacher, attending, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Attending. Attending. Okay. Yes, who are attending the annual, annual conference this year. El significado de it is that, teacher. El significado de? It is that. This is a, yes. the staff of informática, el equipo de informática. Ese es el IT. Ah. El equipo de informática sí. está atendiendo. Richard, puede repetir la última donde dice go, go it, como lo pronunció. Ahí dice got it, got it. Got it. Got it. Sí. Got it. Gracias. Ok, got it. ¿Das it? Ok. Haz la captura, por favor, que la vas a necesitar. Please. Okay, here we go. Let us do it now, please. I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to create the breakout room and you are going to participate with somebody else. Solo pedirles que si les corresponde con alguien que está de oyente, no se me vaya a salir así tan rápido que voy a ir asignando, moviendo, para que todos los que estén ahí puedan... Eh, Hacer la práctica, por favor. Okay, please accept my invitation.
Hola, hola. Okay, welcome back. Uh, let us see what you have there. Uh, so I need that somebody start practicing the conversation, please. Tell me. Podemos con mi compañera Cecilia. Yes, you can do it. Lista, Cecilia. Yes, yes. Bye. Dígame usted, ¿quién inicia? Oh, ok, yo inicio. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita. Sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the IC staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the read room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it, yes. They are arriving on Friday Monday morning. Okay. Pardon. okay. Thank you. Next, please. With my partners, Jonathan Perez. Okay, do it, sir. Okay. I read and you, Luis. Luis, good okay. afternoon. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending 
and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to do it? My partner is Janet. Uh, que no, no tiene internet. Okay, somebody else can help you if you want. Puedo ayudarle ahí? Yes, you can do it. Solo quiero confirmar que el número de página es, es la 31. staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the mat materials arriving? Do you know? That is, yes. They are arriving on Friday for me. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, next. Somebody else? Teacher, yo no me recuerdo con quién me tocó. Me haría el favor de decirme, por favor. Okay, don't worry. Thank you. <laughs> don't worry. <see. laughs> Gracias. <laughs> ¿Empezamos? Yes. Okay. Luis, no, Luis. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sir, tell me. I want to know, you are attending the annual conference this year. And where? Is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the gray room. Rita, by the way, when are the material arriving? Do you know? That is just, they are arriving on Friday morning. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, somebody else, please. Teacher. Okay. Uh, my parent is Candy. Okay, do it. Candy? Hola, hola. Okay. I am Rita. Okay, Candy. Okay, okay. <laughs> Perdón, estaba poniendo. Okay. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita. Sure. Tell me. I want to know 
who are attending the annual conference this year? And where is that taking place? Well, the 18th staff is attending and the comfort is taking place in the Grace Room. Rita, by the way, when are the material arrived? Do you know? Right. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? Alguien más? No? Okay, I'm going to continue. Okay, this is uh, the conversation you already uh, practice. Take a look at the both. Uh, the both were right here who are attending the annual conference this year. And where is, is it taking place? W, w H where question here. But let me continue then, so. Okay, number three, say, figure it out, complete the question, use the conversation about to help yourself. Are the material arriving, is attending the conference, is the meeting taking place? So if you have the book, just take a look at the conversation and you are going to complete, pick up with the right word. Do it now, please. <laughs> as soon as you finish uh, you are going to share the information with the rest of the class Teacher and um, number one seria they are the materials I reading. Hmm. Take a look when, because when, the materials sure. when, when when are the materials the arriving? Uh, okay, you are going to use when W H when teacher. Okay, number two. Who is attending? Uh, who, 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 who is attending the conference? Okay, and number three. Number three. Where? Where is the meeting taking place? Okay. Where is the meeting? Oh. When? When? When, teacher? For me, it's where because uh, res the answer is in the great in the great room. Where, teacher? Okay, where is the meeting taking place? Yeah. Where? 
He's talking, yes. about, he's talking about place. Uh -huh. This is the key word. Aquí no da el lugar. Entonces, where is the meeting taking place? Yes. Where? And the previous one said, is attending the conference. Who is attending? Yes. Who? Yeah. And the third one. Are the material arriving? Right here when? is when. When. Okay, let us continue then. Uh, so, um, what can you see here? Can you tell me? Hello? Is uh, present continuous teacher? Okay. We are seeing here the ing ending. Okay, but first of all, let me mute. Let me mute to all this. Okay. Uh, let us talk about ing ending. No sé qué sucede, estoy muteando, pero luego me aparecen todos otra vez. I don't know what's happening here. So, okay, I got writing, I got traveling, listening, playing. Okay, in order to do this, we need to follow some rules. Okay, the first one is to add ING to the verb, which is known by many as present participle. We must take into account the following spelling rules. ¿Qué dice ahí? Alguien me dice en español porque quiero asegurarme de que esos conceptos sean manejables. Uh, the receiver, teacher. Yes. Dice que vamos a agregar ING al verbo. Cuando... Dice, ok, tranquilo, tranquilo, dice, para, para agregar ING al verbo, el cual es conocido por muchos como el presente participio, debemos de tomar en cuenta las siguientes reglas de deletreo. Ah, ok. Y luego aparece el number one in most verb, is it enough to add H and G? En la mayoría es suficiente solo agregar el H and G, por ejemplo, it, eating, us, asking, go, going. Mantengamos eso en mente, por favor. The second one said, if the verb ends in E, remove the E before adding I and G. Si el verbo finaliza en una E, quítela antes de agregar ING. Example, take, taking, wake, waking, write, writing, come, coming, dance, dancing. Ok, preguntas, question, hasta acá. Yes or not? No, teacher. What a question, teacher. Solo son esas dos reglas, teacher. Ok. ¿Y el resto? Me hay una pregunta, teacher. Ok. Ok, number three. Say, is the verb ends in uh, IE, delete the IE and add YING? Ojo, si, lo, si el verbo finaliza en IE, elimínelo, el IE, y agregue Y, I, N, G. Example, die, dying, tie, tying, lie, lying. ¿Se comprende esta regla? Aló. Just tell me, yes or not? Yes, yes. Yeah. 
Okay, number four. Si el verbo acaba en vocal más consonante, hay que doblar la consonante antes de añadir ing. Por ejemplo, stop. ¿En qué termina? Vocal más consonante. Entonces sería stopping. Swim sería swimming. Run sería running. Begin sería beginning. En United Kingdom los verbos acabados en L doblan la L. Por ejemplo, travel, traveling, cancel, canceling. Ojo, esto sucede solamente en el Reino Unido. Entonces es válido, por ejemplo, que yo tenga traveling solo con una L también. Sí. Teacher, ¿y hay excepciones a esas reglas? Mm. Let me see. Yes. Let, let, me, let, let me explain you first. Uh, later on, I'm going to give you some example. Ojo, aquí dice, but beware. Pero tenga cuidado. If it end in Y or W, we do not double. Ojo ahí. Dice, pero si termina en una Y o en una W, no se duplica. This is because in English, phonetic, Y and W are considered semi vowels Esto es, ya que en la fonética inglesa, la letra Y en W son consideradas semivocales. Por ejemplo, play, playing, by, buying, draw, drawing, borrow, borrowing. Entonces aquí se cumple la regla anterior de vocal consonante, pero no se duplica. ¿Por qué? ¿Qué dice arriba? Porque la Y y la W son consideradas semivocales. No sé si me comprenden esa regla. ¿Sí? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Keep in mind, Y and W, Y and W. Solo los que están terminadas en Y and W, porque acá menciona, ojo, que debe de haber vocal más consonante, ¿sí? ¿Qué sucedería si hay vocal más consonante? Hay que duplicar la consonante. Pero aquí aparece lo que la compañera preguntaba, la excepción. Si termina en Y o en W, no va a duplicar porque en la fonética inglesa ambas Letras son consideradas semivocales. Ok. If the stress does not fall on the last syllable, we do not double. Ojo, hay otros datos que cuando ya vamos entrando más profundo los vamos comprendiendo mejor. Si la fuerza de voz no recae en la última sílaba, no la doblamos. Por ejemplo, listen, listen, remember, remembering. Y aparece algo y dice ahí, no, syllable, eat. Ok, let me, I guess I need to move something here in order that you can understand better. Voy a tener que mover algo aquí para que me comprendan qué es lo que quiero decir. Porque aquí es lo que estoy hablando es por el número de sílabas. Por ejemplo, it tiene una sola sílaba. It. En cambio, forget, ¿cuántas sílabas tiene? Ok, let me, let me adjust 
Déjenme, voy a ajustar esto para que lo entiendan mejor. I guess in this order, you are going to understand better. Creo que en este orden me entender más fácil. Ahí teníamos. Ok, ahí está. Una sílaba sería eat. Two syllables for get. Ahí están separadas. Three syllables sería remember. Y recuerde que en inglés la separación de la sílaba se hace de acuerdo al sonido, no de acuerdo al número de letras, no, de acuerdo al sonido. ¿Comprendido? Yes. Yes, teacher. Ok. Yes. Ok, right now... Let us see how to use present continuous with WH questions. WH question asks for specific information. Then we have the structure WH word plus B plus subject plus verb ing plus complement plus that question mark. Esa es la estructura. Lo primero que va es una palabra que comience con WH, que podría ser what, when, where, why, which, who, or how. Eso sería lo primero. Luego, la forma del be, el sujeto, el verbo en ING, más el complemento y el signo de pregunta. I got some example here. Okay, number one said, why is he meeting the new people today? And the answer could be because, porque está preguntando el why, el por qué, y usted dice por qué tal cosa. Number two, when is the new office launching? It is launching on, and you are going to keep a date. Number three, where is your boss? having the annual meeting and the answer in and you are going to set the address of the location ahí está la estructura de cómo usar el presente continuo wh questions revísenlo por favor si tienen dudas me las hacen saber le doy dos minutos Any question? Hello? No question, teacher. No teacher. Okay. Okay, let us talk about affirmative form, negative form. 
interrogative form and WH questions. Okay, I hope you can be uh, able to see what I have there. The present continuous affirmative, we use B plus ING plus the verb. Vamos a usar la forma del B más el ING del verbo. For example, I'm walking. I am walking. He is talking. He is laughing. Uh, is it raining? They are singing. We are cooking. You are smiling. Esa sería la parte eh, continua afir afirmativa. Revise, por favor. Because uh, right now, we have it in negative. It is present continuous negative. We use a B plus not plus HNG plus verb. If in the first part, as you see, we, we have I am walking, right here is a negative. I am not walking. La forma negativa va a ir a, en medio de la forma del B y el verbo que tiene el HNG. Le voy a mostrar la otra parte para que una vez tome idea de los tres conceptos. Y ahí tenemos la forma negativa. Eh, pregunta, we use be followed by pronoun or subject. Entonces, ¿qué hicimos? Que la forma del be pasó para acá y este para acá. Por eso dice, am I walking? Is she talking? Is he laughing? Is it raining? Are they singing? Are we cooking? Are you smiling? Ok, pregunta. Pregunten, pregunten lo que no comprenda, por favor. Ahí tengo las tres. Positive, negative, and interrogative. So, try to uh, understand it, please. No questions? No question. No question. No question. Okay, if the verb is run, I need that one of you create a sentence uh, using this verb in in a in a progressive time how can you do it como creo una oración usando run en el progresivo aplicando las reglas que ya vimos is run ah okay could be in that way yes and what happened here? We apply the, we apply the rule, right? Dobló la N. Ah, ¿por qué sería? Eh, termina en consonante. Y está precedido de? Del... Una vocal. De una vocal. ¿Y qué pasaría si... 
si tuviese al final eh, una Y o una W. ¿Qué dijimos? Si tuviera una Y, se le quita la Y y se la agregaría. Okay, veamos. Let, let us see what's happening here. And how I'm going to create a question using WH where. Entonces utilizo mi pregunta y dice, what's he doing? And the answer is he's running. He's running. Okay, the verb is sing. Singing. They are singing. Mm, but what about the question? Ah. In affirmative is they, they are singing. Okay, that's right. That's correct. What about negative and question? They are not singing. Or they aren't singing. They aren't singing, okay. And the question could be this, what are they doing? And the answer, they are singing. Okay, what about this one? I need that you create a positive and a question. Okay, let us do it now, please. Vamos. Flying. Podría ser am I flying? Okay, what else? Okay, let us see. And the question say what what's the plane doing? What's the plane doing? Could you give me an answer about this? The plane flying. Uh, it's flying in the sky. Yes, because you are going to use the progressive. Remember that we are talking about progressive. It flying in the sky. Okay. Uh, haga la pregunta y la respuesta de este. Veamos. Is he walking? The question? Is he walking? Si voy a usar una WH word. She walk. She doing. Is working. Okay, take a look. What men doing? Okay, don't forget what this man doing. ¿Qué está haciendo este hombre? He is walking. Ah, he is walking. He is walking. 
Okay, what about this one? The bear is jump. What's the ship uh, doing? What? The ship doing? Oh, okay, could be. It is jump. What the ship doing? And the, the answer, answer. The answer. It is jump. The. The ship is jumping. The fence. It's jumping over the fence. It's jumping um, over the fence. It's jumping over the fence. The progress is right here. As you can see, doing jumping. Okay, real. Hola, hola. Disculpe, ¿qué era fence? En la, en la oración anterior salió la palabra fence. ¿Qué significa fence? Oveja, que no. Fence. Fence no. es, es esto, la cerca. Ah, ok. No. Ok, create a question and the answer, please. What's the student doing? Ahí falta una palabra. Is, what is? What's the student read? Mm. La del inicio está bien, pero hace falta una palabra. What is? Many. Ah. Is the student. Ah, is the boy. Ah. Is the boy reading? Is the boy reading? Yes, he is. Okay, what about this one? Play the guitar. And the question? What is doing playing? What is doing playing? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> What is playing? What is, what is playing? Doing he playing. Hmm. Teacher, no se puede. What do you play? What? Aquí es más fácil hacer. What do you play? Es más fácil hacerlo así. Y Mr. Uh, sin playing tennis. Este es el apellido del señor Sim, Mr. Sim. Is Mr. Sim playing tennis? No, he isn't. Ahora, aquí está en forma de, de, de pregunta, no usando una WH, pero si usases una WH word, ¿cómo sería? ¿Cómo sería? Sí, sí, what is the man, what is the man doing? What is the man doing? And the answer is
he's he's mm. he is playing the guitar. He's playing the guitar, okay. Yo creo que se va en el cuerpo y va. Mi momento de relax. Okay, ride the car. Okay, ask the question. What is he doing? What is the man doing? Okay, could be. Oh, it is Mr. He is driving the car. Okay, what about with this word? Okay, he's a grandfather. Who grandfather? Who is driving the car? Uh, who's driving the car? Who's driving the car? I'm sorry. He's, he's my father, my grandfather, Tom. The answer is who's driving the car? It's my grandfather in this case. Okay, let us see what else. What are the plans? What are the plans? Grandmother and who? Okay, ask the question. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Who is watering the plants? Okay. And the answer? It is my grandmother. Or it is watering the plants. Or it is my grandmother watering the plants. Who is putting water in the plants? Okay. Okay, let me see. Okay, who's weather in the plan? Right. Okay, let me stop here. Well, and who's weather in the plan? Is my grandmother. Okay. What about this one? Wash the dishes. Oh, 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 oh. there's some mistake there. Okay, hold on a second.
Okay, double click on this link, please, and resolve uh, all the exercises there. Por favor, de me le doble click a ese link y ahí está el ejercicio que hay que hacer. Teacher Berlin Bernard Apriel. Hola. Me aparece el link. No le abre. No, no me apareció. Yo lo busqué y no apareció en ningún lado. En, en el chat de, de Zoom. En el chat de Zoom está.
Finish teacher. Okay. Finish teacher. Finish. Finish teacher. Okay. Finish teacher. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let me see what else. Okay, if you already finished, uh, let me see what else you can do. Okay, uh, exercise number four on page number 36. En la página número 36, ejercicio 4, fill the blank using the words in parentheses. What company are you working for? Okay, usted solo realiza dos, tres, cuatro y cinco.
فينيش تيشر اوكي Okay, do you finish? Finish. Okay. Who wants to read number two? How, how, is, how is he dividing the groups? Uh, how is he dividing the group? Okay. Number three. Somebody else want to do it? When? When she is the check ham. When? When she is the checks 
come. Mm. When is she handing the check? Uh, when she is handing the check. When she is. When is she handing the checks? When? When is she handing the checks? Okay, number four. Which category? Which category? When factory are your boss visit this month? There are. Or, or doing which factory doing your boss? Será R or será this? Ah, which which, which factory which factory, factory is, is your boss visiting boss this, month? this month? Okay, number five. Why? Why she is the new secretary work the next Saturday? Why is the new secretary working next Saturday? Okay, you can continue working uh, number five in your uh, free time tomorrow. We are going to stop right here. So practice as uh, if you can do it, please. Let me check out the attendance now because it is the time to finish. Okay, America Elizabeth, say hello, please. Present picture. Okay, Anaidis. Anaidis. It's not here. Blanca. Shalom, Blanca. Cecilia. Present. Good night. Okay, good night. Uh, Edwin Alexis. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Edwin Alfredo. Present. Good night. Francisco. Okay, it's not here. Uh, Gabriela. Gabi Gabi se nos perdió. Eh, Gisela. Present teacher. Good night, partners and teacher. Okay, bye. Ingrid. Ivania. Jonathan. Don Jose. Present teacher. Okay, Don Jose. Eh, Don Jose Luis. Present. Eh, Karina. Teacher, present, present. Okay, thank you. And good night. Good night. Okay, good night, Catherine. Good night, everyone. Present. Okay, thank you, Cat Paola. Present teacher, good night. Okay, good night. Hey, Candy? Present teacher. Okay, Mauricio? Good night, everyone. Roxana? Present teacher. Elizabeth? Present teacher. Sara? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Janet? Present teacher. Yesenia? Present teacher. Eh, Jessica? No, no. Okay, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Take care. Good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Good night.
Don José, ¿cómo vamos con las actividades en la plataforma? Fíjense que como he tenido una situación de trabajo bien delicada hoy en la, estos días, ¿verdad? no he trabajado, pero ahora voy a trabajar en ello. Ok, perfecto. Pero sí hemos entendido los temas. Sí, sí he entendido los temas. Eh, tengo que actualizarme un poquito con lo que no estuve viniendo. ¿verdad? Estuve aquí presente, pero sí voy a actualizarme con ello. Ah, ok, muy bien. Ahí puede ver los vídeos. Sí, y eso está viendo alguna información que, que han subido al, al chat. Y fíjense que hoy no se me presentó aquí en la pantalla la opción del chat, no me presentó nada. Solo me sale compartir la pantalla, aplicaciones, pizarra y más. Dice, pero me lo doy ahí. Se me minimiza el video, dice, video minimizado. No, no, le, no le aparece la parte del chat. La parte del chat no me apareció, fíjense. Bastante raro, sí. Sí, solo, ahí está todo silenciado, detenido, detener el video, pan, compartir pantalla, dice, aplicaciones. Sí. sí. Bueno, estamos ahí entonces, cualquier duda claro. no dude en Correcto, sí. escribir, ¿ok? Bueno, gracias, feliz noche. Ok, feliz noche.